So would you like to delete the buy with PayPal directly inside your actual store of the Shopify? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. So hey everybody, let's see, I would simplify, prefer not to offer the PayPal as an instant payment option. This guy will help you make a those adjustment quickly and easy. First of all, what you want to do is of course to log into your Shopify administrator guys. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once we are inside the actual Shopify, what I wanted to do is to navigate directly into the little part that says settings here into settings let's of course locate the button left of the administrator dashboard and focus here into payments so this will take you to the payment providers page where you can manage all your payment getaway so here what you want to do is to adjust the paypal settings if i scroll a little bit down you should see that we have the actual paypal element if you have enabled the actual paypal the, that's the main reason why we can see the buy with paypal here this element would have been added so if you want to delete the PayPal Express checkout listed as one of your active payment method, to remove the buy with PayPal button, you need to deactivate this payment method. So that might be showing here, for example, I choose the PayPal. And here what I wanted to do is to deactivate this method. So if I choose to deactivate, I'm going to hit now into deactivate. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back here. And let's, of course, uh, deactivate the PayPal Express. So after you hit into the activate, if you click into the activate, Shopify will prompt you to confirm your action. And this should be removing the express checkout. This should be, of course, from the checkout and product pages. Just make sure that you have just saved the changes and test your store. So after you deactivate the PayPal checkout, press be sure to save any changes. If I reload my page, I might be seeing that I no longer have the PayPal. But if I still have the PayPal element, what I need to do, of course, is to go back here into my store go into online store and here into online store what I wanted to do is to focus inside my customization of my store so here into the customization of my store let's look out for the default of whatever product you want to in this case I'm going to go for a default product and as you can see I have the art to cut and buy it now so if I hit here inside the buy it now section this should be taking me into the actual checkout but if I go a little bit back you can see that we do have this element that says buy buttons so here as you can see we have the show dynamic checkout buttons so using this payment method available into the store they can see the preferred option for example paypal or apple pay if i disable the dynamic checkout buttons i no longer see even the buy now i only have the odd to cut so with that being said i'm going to hit now into save now after that let's of course test your store you might also want to clear your KJ or check in incognito mode to see the changes. So what I'm going to be doing here is to copy the link of my product. I'm going to look out for an incognito, a private um, section. I paste my store element and you can see that I no longer have the buy with PayPal. I don't even have the actual buy now button inside PayPal. And the question might be telling you, well, how can I receive money if I no longer have PayPal? Well, if I go back directly into my store, let's focus directly back into settings. Here into settings, go directly into payments. And directly here into payments, what I can do is to, of course, receive money from Shopify payments. Depending on the country currently living, I might be having more elements. If I don't have Shopify payments, I can always click into see all the other providers and I can select whatever element that I needed. Of course, this uh, filtering should be appearing depending on the country you're currently living once again. So if I wanted to accept only Visa and MasterCard, for example, I can enable the ID in payments. Or let's say that I want to enable Apple Pay and Google Pay as well. So the only issues that I have here, the only main stuff is the ID in payments. So I, of course, needed to install this element and get started by following the prompts and creating my account in order to receive the money here into the actual Aiden. In my case, for example, what I'm going to be using is the actual Stripe. Stripe, it's, let's say, a little bit um, equal rather than using PayPal. But if I hit now into Managed, what I need to do is to enable Visa, MasterCard, Money Express, and Apple Pay. So I hit now into Save and I go back and of course, I wanted to check out my online store. So go into whatever product you want to. Let's say, for example, this one. And here I should see that I have the add to the card and I still don't have the buy it now. If you wanted to enable those and of course the buy it now button or only see the buy it now button, go once again into the customization, go into the upper side, go for the home page, products, 
default product. And here I wanted to choose the buy buttons. And here I enabled the show dynamic checkout button. And as you can see, I have the buy it now button, but this is not provided no longer by the actual PayPal. But in this case, I'm gonna just leave this as it is. And there you have it, guys. A very easy and successful way of how you can remove the buy with PayPal button from your Shopify store. So this can help you provide a more steamed line checkout process tailored to your preferred payment method. So if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to the Shopify support and consultant Shopify help center. So guys, if you find this helpful uh, tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully with all the topics here, we'll see you into a brand new section of TechQuest. See you next time.